It's really low in the background. Oh. What is that? Shed dead. Shed. The group called Avatar. Television. Huh? The group called Avatar. Oh gosh. Huh? Avatar. Aliens and television. <laughs> Shed dead. Uh, Quiet. You fool. How was Red Eye last night? Unbelievably fun. Was it? It was Ann Coulter, Dean Cain. I didn't know Ann was on. Oh, Dean Cain. Who was Superman Dean Cain. Really Kane. cool guy. And, uh, of course, Andy Levy and Greg was there to host. Mm -hmm. And, uh, fuck, was it fun last night. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah, good old Dean Cain. He's a relatively conservative dude, huh? I guess. I yeah. mean, uh, we, I, we I always get so silly on that show. Yeah, yeah. I talk about it. And very rarely do I... It's like... You know, you talk about the topic a little bit, but just I just get ridiculous. Yeah, you I have, go, oh, that's the best thing. It's just, there have been times uh, Greg asked me, like, so, Anthony, what do you think about this, that? And, and all I'm thinking is how I could segue his question into what I want to say anyway. Yeah, so, well, and that's what I usually do. It's like, oh, yeah, I think I agree with that. But also, <laughs> I agree with this. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost as comfortable on Red Eye as I was on Tough Crowd. Like, it's a much different vibe it's and a much different environment. Yes. But it's so complete. And they love fucking Gutfeld. He will run Fox because, uh, you know, like O'Reilly now, he subs for, he's got the yeah, five. Yeah. That cocksucker's on every 20 he's subbing minutes. subbing for O'Reilly? Oh, yeah. Wow, good yeah. for Greg. Gutfeld is, is a really... Did not know that. Yeah, because he's a, a relatively young, yeah. uh, decent looking, and, and very, Talented very... guy. But he's, he's not irrational. Like, you could talk to him if you're no. a liberal. He's not a fucking get rid of gays. He's not one of those guys. He's mm -hmm. a very rational guy. I like, uh, on, I watch him on the five a lot. And, uh, yeah, he, 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 he writes up his little segments uh, about a topic of the day or week and stuff. And it's really concise and funny. And uh, he's, got, he's got a good, good view on things. I, I, like found, Greg. I found myself um, watching... Um, Oh, uh, Chris Matthews. Yes. Oh, God. Chris Matthews. Chris Matthews. He's just too predictable. Chris Matthews. Well, I was watching because they played a JFK tape that's never been played before. Oh. Of him talking about uh, the debate with Nixon. Oh, yeah. And the uh, the makeup controversy. Ah, so there was a there was um, uh, uh, I wanted to, well. There was controversy about the makeup and that it was possibly done on purpose to fuck Richard Nixon. Oh, really? A bit of a conspiracy. That's the word I was looking for. Mm. Oh, that, what do you mean? But then it turned out that it's the same makeup guys used a lot. But some were oh. saying that, you know, the makeup guy was in on saying, you know, this is how we're going to fuck Richard Nixon in this debate because he's going against the handsome JFK guy. We're going to give him shitty uh, makeup. Hey, pancake makeup. Because it's been discussed uh, many, many times over the years. That's why, you know, Nixon lost that election because he looked like shit on TV. And it was the first, what, debate, right? Yeah, it was black but, and white, too. Like, but they had, like, makeup? yeah, but he had sweat on his upper lip, his I forehead. I sweating. And they said he looked really pale, and that's when I said to myself, it's black and white. How can you really tell that? But I guess back then, when you all you saw was black and white TV, you probably were able to tell that shit more than you would nowadays. And uh, they also said that Nixon was um, Gay? In, the, in the hospital oh. for that leg infection for something like three weeks. I had prior. shingles. Was it shingles? Always with the shingles. I couldn't hear you. Prior to <laughs> the debate. Shingles. But do we have the video? Shingles. Because what you get to see, the audio is a little rough, but I what you get to see is a JFK extremely relaxed. Ah. And his speaking voice is very different than... Uh, his public voice. He's not ask not. No, he's very like mellow. Yeah, it was fascinating. I seen this tape years ago. No, you didn't. <laughs> I should have gave you guys a heads up that we were gonna go here. That's fine. But the fine. tape was like released yesterday or the day before. That's cool. Um, oh, Chris, man. Oh, they don't really. It's just not online somewhere. Hey. It's hardball with Chris Matthews. My hair's there a mess. Is. There it is. If you don't turn that this way, I'm going to kiss you on the lips. Well, tonight we have some newly discovered footage of Jack exactly Kennedy what I talking watched last candidly. Night. Exactly, right here. I'm aware that a camera was rolling <laughs> about his first debate with Richard Nixon. He wasn't aware the camera was rolling? Four days after that debate. Here's the backstory. 
That first presidential debate of 1960 was the first ever televised, and television gave Kennedy the clear edge. More than 60 million people watched, and what they saw may have been more important than what they Look heard. The sweat a haggard Nixon just lip. back from the yes. hospital, pale with sweat on his chin and upper lip. By comparison, Kennedy was cool and flushed with confidence, projecting the winning image that would take him to the White House. Well, the story goes that Nixon relied on makeup that failed to hold up under the hot lights in the studio. The oh, newspapers boy. had a field day with that story, and the Chicago Daily News, a Republican paper, went so far as to suggest that Nixon's makeup had been intentionally sabotaged by a Democratic makeup artist. Well, that story, of course, turned out not to be true. But the makeup issue was as hotly debated as the debate itself. And here, hardball producer Will Robbie dug through the NBC News archive and discovered footage with wow. sound of Jack Kennedy talking while having his makeup done on camera just four days after yeah. that debate. He was at his home in Hyannis, Massachusetts, preparing for an interview with David Brinkley and Chet Huntley of NBC News. Sounds it's a, a rare rough, glimpse, I'm sure to tell you, behind the curtain at Jack Kennedy's off-air persona. While the audio is poor, you can make out that they're discussing the story about Nixon's makeup. Historian Michael. Be oh boy! Oh, good one. Chris. Historian Michael. Be oh. Historian Michael <laughs> Beckham oh, is here with me now. Chris. And Michael, you've seen this, and you agree this is a big deal. Yeah, it's amazing because you know, Chris. Number one, especially oh, this week, if you Christ. think about the, the oh. he has hair like JFK. Right. You and I maybe have not seen before. Of okay. JFK. Comfortable we voice. Know, think of that. Sure. There, there, there could be anything like that. What so gender are here your voice? We have a find that. You know, this is all fat that you cut off your state. All fat. It really to it. A I love it because, like the scene Same in Crisis picture. about the, the uh, Alabama play the video. effort. This is what I was saying to myself last the guy night. Yeah. Think the cameras are Chris, right. get, right. to get to it. Get Enough suspense. Let's take a look. Thank at what you. Found here. Right. Right. Listen to his voice. That story about the Democratic makeup man. Yeah. We did make him up. Yeah, no, man. Yeah, well, why not? Who was it, Lynn? Do you know? No, he hasn't been with us that for a long time. Same fellow, but why doesn't Chicago get any news like that? I don't know. I'm looking for that part. I must say, all these newspapers who keep putting the knock now into the debate, I think it's just a... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, media rivalry, isn't it? Oh, there's some of that. The Democrat, I must say, I don't know what you do without television. I look at this. Well, it was a hell of a show, that's all. Well, it was a hell of a show, I thought. You guys see what the subtitles. You get a glimpse there, why? Pretty, pretty wild, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, just to see him, like, whenever you see photos of him just relaxing in, in, at the beach house, it's really right. weird to see. On my sailboat. Yeah. <laughs> but Clinton that, Hill had a lot of great stories about him, just personal, his life, and it's... it's but he's soft-spoken there, like, yeah. very confident, and just, you know, just talking. Just a nice, normal guy, and... What a terrible fucking anniversary. It really is. As much as I've teased it and we've all mocked it and, you know, the historical whatever. Tomorrow. It's a fucking horrible day tomorrow, man. Tomorrow, yeah. Terrible. Tomorrow's the day. And Oswald was a, what a, I'm so happy that cocksucker's dead oh, and never man. got to do a bunch of interviews. I mean, it, the conspiracy shit would have been knocked out if he had lived, mm -hmm. but fuck him. I like, uh, Squashed by, Jack Ruby's truly a hero. Sirhan Sirhan. Still yeah. alive. Right. Yeah. Why would they, you know? Why would they leave him alive? Mind control fucking 40 Mind years ago? Control. And it still works? Ugh. Obviously, he needs to be kept alive. <laughs> he should be killed. Sirhan Sirhan should be killed yeah. for what he did to this country. Then it went over to Anderson Cooper, and he went long form with the JFK thing. A lot of old, old news clips. But long form witnesses and talking about how people saw something on the grassy knoll and ran that way and... You know, the announcement uh, by the press secretary that uh, a press secretary that was, I guess, filling in and how he had to make the announcement in front of everyone. I never saw that clip. Can either. we see that? It was, that was pretty amazing. Sam, can we see that the press secretary, P-R-E-S-S -S, mm -hmm. space. Go to CNN. They might have that piece uh, all bundled up nice for us today. Uh. Uh, Hold on, let me say this. The boss wants the press secretary <laughs> clip. Why don't you fucking find it and stop futzing around? Yeah. Looking mm. at Phil Spector, Sylvia Brown. Yeah, psychic Sylvia Brown's dead, I guess. Good. You have fucking vulture. You think? Yes. Some say uh, she found missing kids. All right, well, my apologies. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> You're a man of conviction. Yeah, what else? Yeah. I was never convicted. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. You know, well, Sam, will you just Google it? That's all right. I should have gave these guys the heads up. No, you take but 10 it, seconds, boss. It was a lot of, find it. It was a lot of clips I haven't seen before because oh. they really just kind of went a little deeper because it, of the 50th anniversary. Sure. You see that uh, Bruder um, clip that they. Yeah, it's the famous one. Put No. Oh. <laughs> put to what? You hear about that? <laughs> they put it together um, like. Uh, Really touched up oh, every frame, oh, put it together in thing. kind of a stability. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. stabilize the picture. It's amazing, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It looks pretty cool. It looked, it, I think I've it, seen. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a horrible version of it. We'll do it again. Go on, man. Go on, man. John F. Kennedy died at approximately one o'clock Central Standard Time. We oh, yeah. today here in Dallas. Oh, he died. No. Gunshot wound. In the brain. Slow it down. Insane in the membrane. Remember static? I have no other details regarding the assassination of the president. This is a horrible version of it. Assistant press secretary. Yeah, he was not the actual guy at, that day. Malcolm killed him. Um, I mean, he was the guy that mm -hmm. day, but it, it wasn't his uh, gig. Did, and what? He fucked it up because he goes, I could do it again? Did anyone else pick up on that in the beginning? <laughs> yeah, Wait, you want another take? Yeah, right. they were telling him to slow down. Right. So, yeah, that's a horrible version of it. Wowie, kazowie. Anyway, oh. 50 years tomorrow. Yeah, right. Yeah. And that eternal flame is not so eternal. It's Sunday mo out. Sunday morning with that Charles Osgood. They, Sunday morning. They they dedicated their whole show last Sunday to the JFK assassination. They went real deep. It was a great hour and a half of TV. And the eternal flame, that flame's gone out a million fucking times since. Well, yeah. I did not know that. A million times. Yeah, they had really? major construction on it because they decided to go with a new design, so not so not so eternal. I think they mean it figuratively. I yeah. understand you know. what they mean. They were but... Bengals fans. <laughs> I really thought they uh -oh. they figured out, you know, try to figure out how to keep the actual flame going even through construction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was down and out for a while. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of out. There's actually uh, pictures of it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what does it mean? <laughs> it's stupid. The, the gas shut off. Right. It's not some fucking magic. Mm. Like Chris Angel. Yeah. You know, Balloon Kennedy would have been good. Balloon if they Kennedy. Put him in the car. He'd still think be alive of, today. Think of Oswald Shock looking through that scope. Right. He fucking makes the shot and then just sees Kennedy go. Right. Deflates. sucked to hear the opie anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio online on your phone or tablet or even on demand go to SiriusXM.com. also interact with the opie anthony show on twitter at opie radio at anthony cumia and at jim norton